welcome to Limo Express. My name is Zach Lee, and today I get the pleasure of talking with Pacheco's wedding events and staff. Today we'll be with Connor, who's one of the leads with Pacheco's, and he's been with Matt for quite a while. I started working for Pacheco's when I was uh, right out of high school, in like 2015, 2016, and it was great because he gives you a lot of flexibility of when you want to work, um, when you can't work and stuff. He's pretty mindful of what your schedule is. Um, I mean, I'm working two other jobs right now on top of this, and he works with me with all the events, which is great to have um, for a job like this. Well, about a month ago, we were working a private residence wedding over in a, near Issaquah, and they were shuttling people at the end of the event um, to the hotels, and one of the shuttles actually hit a power line as they were coming up the hill, and we had no power for an hour. So we were trying to run the bar with like five flashlights on our phones. We were in the, we were in the back. I was trying to cut cake and like I was using my my little watch flashlight. I was like doing that trying to cut cake in the back. But uh, <laughs> and it was it was nice though because it was about nine ten o'clock when that happened. So people were already kind of getting ready to go, and that definitely got people leaving. So we were able to clean up once the once the lights went on but it took about an hour. I think like the biggest responsibility is just because of the nature of weddings, um, usually the times and schedule changes, you know, every 30 minutes sometimes, depending on the event. So the biggest kind of responsibility I think is uh, keeping in contact with all of the people that are managing the events. So usually it's the wedding coordinator, um, you know, the venue coordinator and whoever else is calling action. So a lot of times too, that could be the parents at the end of the night. And I just think another, uh, you know, important thing is keeping everyone busy and working on what they need to do. But like I was saying, the nice thing about working with Matthew is, uh, a lot of the people he hires, I mean, I don't really need to give too much direction. I kind of just go to the wedding planner, figure out what needs to be done, and then I'll just kind of relay that to everyone else, and then we can kind of talk about who needs to do what. Um, in terms of surprise responsibilities, <laughs> usually usually just whenever anything comes up, um, that's not like what we would usually do. Um, so like, you know, if it's uh, something that's not just like, you know, bussing tables, moving plates or something, if I need to go run to the store or something like that, you know, that happens a lot. Um, and then just any odd requests. One time we had, there was all these little keychains, and I had to go and collect like a hundred of them off the tables. So I mean, there's, there's always random stuff that <laughs> pops up, but it's usually it's not too bad, and you know, you, you want to keep the clients happy. I think the biggest lesson, at least, is because I am a lead, a lot of times I'm just running back and forth, you know, <laughs> asking people this, that, trying to get information, trying to answer a question for someone. So I think, um, you know, just the ability to kind of communicate and manage, um, mm. you know, kind of some like large scale events, or not necessarily manage, but be a pretty important piece of um, making sure the events go. I think that's the biggest takeaway I've got though, mainly just learning how to better communicate um, during high stress events and high stress situations. Just kind of being able to keep calm, being able to figure out what needs to be done, who needs to be doing it, um, and just keeping everything going on the schedule. Big shout out to our sponsors, Los Agaves for the delicioso food, Celeste Boutique for keeping me looking fresh, and Dunamis Bay Limousine for the luxurious transportation. Thank you for tuning in for another edition of Limo Express. See y'all next week.